Hello, everybody. This is Party PD. Welcome to our unboxing video now. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff to do. This is absolutely insane. I have not looked at any of these immortals, but I know that they are immortals. Let's go ahead and go to the first one. First one, we have the Beastmaster Axe called the Primal Peacekeeper, which probably goes pretty well with the rest of his sets. I th it is a little bit interesting with these feathers, I'd say. Next is Dark Willow's Gloom Bob, which is a... It's a... It's a new spirit boy. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that one. That one's going to be interesting. A Elder Titan Vice of Creation, which is his... I think that... Is this his hammer? Is this his... Oh my god, that's his hammer. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is, that is Elder Titan's new hammer. All right, that's crazy. Enchantress's Hera Blossom, which is a enchanting looking shoulder, which gives her some more colorful spirits by the looks of it. Marana is Mask of Metria, which might be a new Starfall, I imagine. No, it's a new Moonlight. Next, we have Tidehunter's Back, which is the Deep Shock Destroyer. I believe it is a sea mine with a tentacle monster in there. Interesting stuff. Ravage? Ravage. We didn't even check what the other ones do. So this one is definitely the spirits. Yeah, so this one enhances her spirits. This one, I imagine, is the ult. Yep, because slam is the ult. New Bedlam and Terrorize, and then Beastmaster. No, his roar, so this is axes. Yeah. All right. Next, we have Ancient Apparition's Shatter Blast Rule, which is his arms. I bet that is the Cold Snap? It's Chilling Touch. Okay. I think we have a Cold Snap one already. Tidehunter's Golden Back, which is Golden Tentacles. Then the Gilded Invis, which I really want to see. And then the every everyone wants this one. The Void Spirit Hidden Vector, which I imagine... Oh, it's just his ult. Okay, I thought it would change more than that. Already $200 on the market. And then everyone's most favorite, if they ever get it, the emblem. This is the Nemesis emblem, though. I don't know how long this lasts for, though. It looks like... Wait, I'm confused. When is the expiration date? Doesn't have an expiration yet. But we've got 24 boxes. And there are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 base immortals. Which means we are doing... Uh, 4 rounds. We will do the first one as slow as per usual, and then remember it is escalating odds, so back then we used to have pretty high odds when it came to unboxing, nowadays not so much, a little bit different. Looks like we have our first candidate, it is going to be Tereska's new spirit boy. We are just prepping the YouTube channel everybody for the upload. We are like maxing the hell out of our ramp right now. And then we have Marana's head. Upload video. So we're about to have a video done right now. See, I hate it when they do that. They leave Void Spirit as the last one. All right, three left of the base immortal lines. Will we get a normal rare in the first line of openings? God, you don't, you don't leave the cosmically rare as the last one. Cosmically rare hurts to see as the last one to go on the spinner. All right, well, I was gonna say it's very safe to assume we are not getting the ultra. Last one in the pack. Why does it even, like, leave the Ultra Rare as the last one? Alright, this one we will do a little bit more hastily. Think once three Rares are gone. Alright, we got the AA Arms. So on number seven, keep that in mind everybody, write that down in the chat. Number seven, we got a Rare. We got a Green Rare. Keep that in mind. Green Rare. So now we basically still do it until two rares are gone, or until... Yeah, actually no, it's still until two rares are gone. All 
Not looking good for the second round here. We have two left in round two, though. All right, we got the golden mine back, which means we've got two in the second round. Number seven got one, and number 11 got one. All right, round three, same story. Waiting till two rares disappear. That was quick. That was very quick. Keep in mind, everybody, there's a second battle pass this season. So there could be more immortals. There could be more personas. There could be another Arcana. Box three not looking too hot as we are now down to three in round three. Ooh. Yeah, we are not looking good. Two left in round three. We've gotten the mines and we've gotten AA hands. I wanted to let that one go because on the off chance we get the Marana. All right, this is number 18. Will number 18, never mind. 18 did not give us Marana. All right, let's go back here. We have six left, guys. Last round. Video is done. Excellent. Let us go to publish the video as we spin the wheel and get nothing yet again. Where did it go? Nemesis Battle Pass explained quickly. We are spinning the wheel, ladies and gentlemen. Still two more immortals we need to get. We need one immortal, we need the gold head, and we need the void set, ideally. Because Void Spirit does not have a set. I would love to use that as my Void Spirit set. I don't play Void Spirit, though. I got really hopeful when I saw he was the last one there. All right, after this, we're going to look at the odds. Because the Murano one has disappeared from me every time. Let's look at these odds. The Ultra Rare Faceless Void full set. 1 in 72. The Very Rare Golden Murano Head 1 in 8.8. .8. The Tide Back, which we've already got, 1 in 32. And the AA Hands, 1 in 3.6. And then, of course, Cosmically Rare. I'm taking my headphones off. doesn't work doesn't work well ladies and gentlemen that does it for the unboxing of this we might be burning some of these immortals down into more boxes to open for later use but for now thank you all so much for watching this unboxing video more nemesis content coming up don't go far davy and the dragon knight it's going to be our next review thank you so much for watching like favorite subscribe we'll see you next time for more dota 2 action for nemesis bye bye